What is going on everyone? My name is Alpha and today we are bringing you another Pokemon Challenge video on Pokemon Fire Red. It's not Leaf Green, it's Fire Red this time for sure. Uh, we're playing Pokemon Fire Red and today's challenge will be can I beat Pokemon Fire Red using only gift Pokemons in the game. Now obviously we've done this in the past multiple times, we've done this on Heart Gold and also Unova. So if you guys have watched those videos, you guys have a grasp on what the rules are. But if you guys have not and this is the first time you're seeing this type of challenge, I'll obviously explain. To brief you on what's happening, uh, the rules are when we're giving a Pokemon for free. So free is obviously, you know, gifted, you know, gifted, not like barter for anything. So no trades, um, no catching Pokemon, we have to be obviously given the Pokemon to be able to use it. So. We're gonna play with that only. Uh, in the past, I didn't use starters, but in this game, you don't get a gift Pokemon for a very long time. So I just decided, whatever, we're just gonna use our starter. And obviously, we cannot use items inside the battle. We can use hell items, but we cannot use the items in the bag during battle. We're allowed to evolve the Pokemon as much as we want. Uh, no HM slaves, obviously, and that's about all the rules. So if you guys are excited for this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, some challenge ideas, and also subscribe if you guys are not already. So let's get into the challenge. So we start off the game, obviously, with our starter. So starter, first gift Pokemon we're going to have. So Bulbasaur is what we're going to choose. And Bulbasaur nearly, nearly beats the Charmander. And that Charmander is going to be a pain for a while. Uh, we're cheering up with Bulbasaur for a little bit. We might have blacked out once or twice in the wild for no reason. Uh, but Bulbasaur, once it gets Leech Seed, will be very useful for us. Uh, we throw away all the Pokeballs because, you know, we don't need no Pokeballs where we're going. We're gonna get we're gonna mooch off of everyone and we're just gonna take Pokemons for free. So we're gonna head into our second rival battle fights. Oh, this is where we get Leech Seed, so we're obviously more useful. Growl is a bit useful here because you know the only attacks they can do are physical attacks. So Growl weakens them down while Leech Seed drains their HP and gives it back to me. So you know what we take down our rival pretty easily. Next we head through the very, very, very obnoxious Viridian Forest. Uh, if you're not a Charmander user, it's it's pretty annoying to get through. Uh, if you're a Squirtle user, you hate it. <laughs> if you're a Bulbasaur user, you just get over it. And we head into Brock's Gym. Brock's Gym is easily demolished by Bulbasaur. I don't even get it up to level 16. So we demolish Brock's Gym even before we become an Ivysaur. But we do get we do become an Ivysaur right outside of Pewter City. And then we're going to head into Cerulean City. Obviously not first until we head into Mount Moon where this there is a guy who is selling a magic card for $500. However, as I said, for free, not bartering and not trading. So we can't trade for anything. That includes money. We cannot just buy our Pokemon. That will be a different video. That will be an interesting video. I'm writing that down right now. That's a, that, that's a creative idea. I just came up with that idea. I feel like someone already had that idea. But I know I came up with that idea. I'm crediting myself. So you see that video in the future. This is the source, but obviously we can't use that magic card. We like we cannot use that magic card at all. So that's unfortunate. Um, Gyarados would have been a sick member on the team, but we can't use it. From there, we head into Surin City, and you know we just have an Ivy Sword, and we're kind of just avoiding everyone as far as we can. There is fossils we can get, but you know it's going to be a long time before we use them. Anyways, we head into Surin City. Uh, we're gonna fire a rival. We got it's just basic training at this point. Uh, but after that, we get Razor Leaf, and we're gonna head through uh, North. And we're going to get Secret Power. Uh, Secret Power is going to be a great move to have on our Ivysaur as well. And then once we do that, we're going to head into Serene City's gym. And obviously since we're a grass type, it's perfectly fine. We destroy her gym and, you know, moving along. I might be moving a bit too fast right now because, I mean, it's just very... We're just using an Ivysaur. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to get to the fun part soon. So we head into the SS boat. Uh, obviously, we destroy our rival again. Uh, we get cut, and then you know what? We just replace leech seeds because you know we're done. We're done with leech seeding. We're we're done with leech seeding off other Pokemon. We're leech seeding off people. We're getting free Pokemon, and you know <laughs> that's about it. So we head into uh, Lieutenant Surge's gym, and we're gonna fight. You know we're gonna destroy Lieutenant Surge. And <laughs> I mean, well, what can I really do? I become an I I become a Venusaur right before Rock Tunnel. So it's like it's kind of scary how fast like I'm leveling up. So, I mean, once we get through Rock Tunnel, we're going to finally head into Lavender Town. And, you know, again, quick break in Lavender Town. And then we're heading we're heading off to Celadon City. Celadon City is finally where we start getting more 
access to gift Pokemon. Our, our team variety will be a bit more, you know, better. So we get our Eevee. Uh, I named it after my girlfriend. Uh, shout out you. I love you. Anyways, we head into the dojo. The dojo will obviously consist of fighting Pokemon. We're going to clear through the dojo as best as we can. And then we're going to obviously pick up a Hitmonlee. That's our next gift Pokemon. So that's three of the six members on our team. And this is, this is looking like a powerful team. Not going to lie. So we're going to boost up our Pokemon pretty easily. We're going to uh, give our EV secret power. We're going to give our Hitmonlee secret power as well. <laughs> uh, I already have Brick Break. I'm going to evolve my EV into Jolteon. Uh, Jolteon's can I mean, Jolteon's pretty much the most useful one for us. Because, you know, it will take care of the Gyarados down the line. Gyarados is pretty scary in terms of, like, power in this game. Uh, so we're going to use that. Uh, Eevee becomes a pretty strong member pretty quick. So does Hitmonlee. So, I mean, everyone is getting situated pretty easily. I don't have anything to take care of the grass gym. So we head into Erica very blindly. And Erica, I mean, we just have to fight Erica very, very stiffly. Because we have the best Pokemon we have is a fighting Pokemon for, for the job. But, like, most of our Pokemon are also, like, poison. So, like, they resist it. So it's just a... It's an awkward situation for everyone. Uh, luckily, High Jump Kick, two shots to Victory Bow, and then Tangela gets knocked out by High Jump Kick. High Jump Kick is a powerful move. Anyways, Eevee, um, Jotian comes out. Jotian will just, just three shot to... Uh, just, I don't know what it just did, but it just destroyed the Valplume without getting hit. I also put Black Glasses on my Jotian because, obviously, I have a Dark Move, and Dark Moves in this game are special. And Jotian is a special attacker. So, you know, it benefits everyone for having it on. From there, we are just going to head into, we're going, to, we're going to get our bike, and then we're going to head into Lavender Town, Lavender Tower. We're going to clear through Lavender Tower uh, using, our, you know, our Jotian, because Jotian is so cute. I love Jotian. Jotian, one of my favorite evolutions of all time. Uh, anyways, we head to the top of the tower, and then we get our Poke Flute. We head all the way back to Self Co. We clear through Self Co. really easily. Because there is, uh, we, we scroll, we move quickly through Self Co. because there is something we want to get. And that is obviously a rival battle fight out of the way. So we beat our rival really easily. And then from there, uh, easily is a loose term. Our Jotun gets down to a low HP. But from there, our next gift Pokemon will be the Lapras. The iconic Lapras. I haven't used Lapras in such a long time. And I'm glad I get to use it again. Um, obviously, we're going to uh, suit up our Lapras to start destroying stuff. So there is a Mr. Psychic in Saffron City. Um, lore says that is Sabrina's father. So... Um, we're obviously going to take that TM and we're going to put it on our Lapras, make it more powerful, make it more viable. And we're also put Shockwave on a Jotun because we forgot the whole time. We didn't have Shockwave, you know, the classic, oh, forgot to get Shockwave. But, uh, Lapras obviously levels up pretty nicely and it's situated in our team very easily. It fits in our team because, you know, it belongs on our team. It's a water type. We need water type Pokemon. Uh, luckily we get Surf and we put a... We put Surf on Lapras as well. We accidentally caught a Nidorino for no reason, but you know, we're just gonna ignore that fact. <laughs> anyway, we're heading into Koga's gym fight. Uh, not after like taking hours, taking hours to fight against the gym trainers in here are so much more annoying than Koga. Like, Koga is annoying, but like, at least Koga doesn't like have psychic Pokemon. Psychic Pokemon are the worst. Hypno, oh my god, the worst type of Pokemon in this game. And we actually black out against Koga the first time we fight it on accident, you know. Uh, accidentally losing to a Koga is kind of embarrassing, but we do lose to Koga, but we come back. Lapras decides to destroy everything now. It's not holding back at all. It just destroys coughing. Both the coughings goes down, Muck goes down, and unfortunately, Lapras couldn't close it out with the 4K, but um, d don't worry. Uh, Jotian will just bite down. The <laughs> right, this Jotian is insane. This thing is just monstrous. It just bite down everything when, it's when it doesn't care at all. So we go back up Cycling Road as well, and we start training up our... Lapras all the way up and from there we're gonna actually before we head into the next gym fight we're avail we have surf available for us so we're gonna head back to Peter City from Vermilion through Diglas Cave we're gonna get the old amber we're gonna surf all the way all the way to Cinnabar Island and we're gonna get both our Aerodactyl and Kabuto and then we're gonna train for a long time through the Pokemon Mansion through the uh, route right next to Fuchsia City and finally, we got a couple tops. We use a, we might have used a rare candy on a couple tops, you know, to you know, fast travel it. But we finally got a couple tops, and our Aerodactyl is, you know, a high enough level for us to use it. So from there, we're gonna head into Blaine's gym. Uh, you see how I completely forgot Sabrina's gym? Cause I did. I for I completely forgot Sabrina's gym. So we're heading into Blaine's gym first. Uh, we're all over the place here. Um, so we head into Blaine's gym fight. Uh, it's Growlithe versus Lapras. 
I could, uh, you could tell 10 out of 10 times who's gonna win that. Uh, Ponytail versus Labyrinth, you could tell who's gonna win that. And Rabbitish gets a Fire Blast off of me. It still loses, but it gets a Fire Blast off me. Uh, Argonite doesn't, Argonite doesn't get a chance to, and it just dies. So our team is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. We decide not to go on the Sevi Island strip, uh, cause our team is just already too strong anyway. So we're gonna head back into Saffron City. We forgot to save Silphco. We just beat our rival and took the Labras and then went home. We forgot to save Silphco. So Silphco is just completely in shambles at this point because we forgot about it. But we uh, we came back. We beat Giovanni. Cleared through the entire Rocket team. The Rocket uh, team Rocket just stopped caring. They just left. It's gone. I mean, what can you really do? Anyways, I sent out Jotion against this you know entirely Psychic Gym and get free levels. Free levels. Easily free levels. So we head into Sabrina's Gym fight. I obviously have the Black Lies that's still on my Jotian, so Jotian's still uh, just a powerhouse, just destroying everything. As of this Mr. Mind, it takes two shots to kill the Mr. Mind, but you know, uh, it still powers through it. And then uh, two shot Shockwave against the Venomoth, and then Alakazam comes out. I, f I, I didn't know I was confused at this point, but eventually, you know, confusing took me down to 1 HP with his uh, side beam. But we lived it, and we started flinching it, and then we beat it. I'm like, oh, okay, so that happened. <laughs> Now we head into Viridian City's gym fight, which is the ape gym fight against Giovanni. And I'm like, this is a weird order I'm doing. I cannot believe I forgot uh, the entirety of Silco, I forgot. But we have a full team right now. And our team is kind of stacked, not gonna lie. Uh, Lapras, one of the strongest things I've seen. Like, this thing is super strong. And uh, it does demolish everything, I won't lie. As you can see from the uh, gym trainers here, it's getting free XP. I'm running out of like PP to use it. And like I like I just I was too lazy to go back, so I'm really fighting Giovanni with only four PP on my surf, which is kind of funny. Uh, I mean, Labras can handle it. La Labras ends up destroying Giovanni really easily. Uh, two serves down the Rhyhorn, and then you know I got lazy and used Ice Beam to knock down the Needle Queen and Needle King, and then uh, Dark Trio comes out. Oh, I thought I BM'd it by using Psychic, but no, I Ice Beam that as well. And now we are done with the Gym Trainers. Now we're heading into our Pen Ultimate fight against. Our rival, uh, rival Gary, uh, will always start out with a Pidgeot. I mean, send on my Jojen. Jojen's can take a bit of damage, but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, it knocks on the Pidgeot. A Rhyhorn comes out. It's not gonna be useful. <laughs> Rhyhorn, see ya. Lapras kills it. Don't know why you use Rock Slide against uh, the Execute. And then Shockwave will kill the Gyarados. My team is well rounded. It's so good. Like, these Gift Pokemon ones are actually really, really good. It's insane. Now, I don't know why I sent out my Aerodactyl to beat the Alakazam, but it worked out. So, I mean, if it works out, it works out. And then somehow it doesn't beat the Charizard, which is four times weak to Rock. I don't know, I understand. But anyways, we have enough uh, things in the back to obviously secure the victory. And we beat down Gary. Now it's time to head through the Elite Four. <clears throat> now it's time to head through Victory Road. And obviously, Victory Road is going to be a bit more painful. I mean, it's not that bad. Our team is pretty stacked, unlike any other challenge where it's like annoying to fight. Uh, I kind of enjoy fighting with my uh, with my team. My team is pretty good. I like my team. Anyways, we uh, obviously gear up our team a little bit more, give it more moves, give it more coverage, and now I mean we're ready to go. We're set to go. Uh, we head into the first Elite Four member, which is Lorelai. Lorelai will have a Dugong. Jotun comes out, thunders it. Well. I mean, what can you do? Like, I mean, <laughs> what can you do? Uh, Cloyster comes out. It's going to stall me for a little bit, but then Thunder will knock it out, and it's over for that. Slowbro comes out. I'm going to tell you one thing. Things didn't change. Uh, obviously, I missed the Thunder, but it's okay. Next Thunder kills it. <laughs> uh, Lapras, I mean, it's not my Lapras, so it's useless. So this Lapras goes down in one shot to uh, Thunder. I mean, I didn't even know how lucky I was. I just kept hitting Thunders. What the hell is going on? Anyways, Aerodactyl comes out, misses the Rock Slide, of course it does, but then hits it the second time, and then Lorelei goes down. That's probably the easiest time I've taken down Lorelei. Like, oh my god. Like, thank god. <laughs> thank goodness, because Lorelei is such an annoying, like, trainer to fight. I haven't used my Venusaur in a hot minute, I'm just gonna say that. Um, so Lapras comes out, Lapras, <laughs> as I said, I haven't used my Venusaur, I still don't use my Venusaur. Anyways, Lapras comes out, I mean, I don't know why I stayed in. I have a flying type in the back. I have other types in the back. I just let my Lapras die for no reason. Uh, whatever, I guess. Aerodactyl comes out, just tries to take down everything else. What? I'm just switching around for fun at this point. I'm thinking I'm bored. I think I just switch around for no reason. <laughs> I just I just threw away two of my Pokemon for no reason. What, what's going on? Anyways, Machamp gets knocked out by a crit. 
fly. I mean, oof, surprisingly. And then Venusaur gets to do something. Yay, it takes down the Onyx. We're not dead with all anymore. Hit it with a fly, knocks down Bruno. And you know what? I mean, cheers, I guess, because we beat uh, we beat Bruno. I mean, we lost a few Pokemon. Surprisingly, we lost more Pokemon to Bruno than Lorelei, which is uh, impressive, I gotta say. Like, that's impressive to say. So we head into, obviously, Agatha's chamber. Agatha's the next chamber. Yeah, Aerodactyl is just here to kill it. Uh, Aerodactyl gets the attack boost, which is, like, monstrous for us. Uh, then it hits two rock slides back to back through two double team. So it was like, okay, yo, I see you. Uh, Arbok comes out, it misses attack, and then Aerodactyl earthquakes it and kills it. W what can you expect? I'm trying to fish for more boosts. Uh, somehow Golbat lives my ancient power, which is what? How did that happen? Anyways, uh, Hunter comes out, Hunter gets flinch, and then <laughs> unfortunately it gets flinch, and then that's the end of it. Um, again, uh, I'm trying to knock out the Gengar in one hit. Didn't work out, so we gotta switch into our Jotun. I use Shockwave instead of Bite. The super effective move I had, I didn't use. Cool, I guess. Uh, I don't think I had any like full heals or full restores, so I, just, I started using the Poke Flute to waking up my Aerodactyl, which is the funniest thing. Anyways, heading to Lance. Lance is gonna start, obviously, the Dragon Chamber. Gyarados, you know, it's not that threatening when I have a Jotun. Jotun, the greatest counter. Uh, so Jotun knocks it down pretty easy. Lapras comes out when the Dragonair comes here. Lapras will mow down the Dragonair. Uh, then he sends out his own Aerodactyl. And I'm like, oh, I bet. Thunders it down. Uh, ends up killing it in one shot. And he lives in Ancient Power, which is surprising. Anyways, uh, Lapras comes out again, knocks down both the dragons left. And that is it for Lance. And from there, uh, I'm just going to, you know, Head, like heal my PP on my Pokemon and I mean I'm pretty set to destroy our rival I mean we just cleared through the Elite Four pretty easily we lost like two Pokemon <laughs> we lost two Pokemon two of them were too brutal when we threw around but anyways uh, Shockwave down to the Pidgeot and then I mean from there it sends out a Rhydon like what's Rhydon gonna do I've like again Rhydon won the Pokemon on his team that never does anything and uh, surf down the Rhydon Execute comes out, it becomes a very annoying situation right here. Uh, it puts me to sleep and then starts Giga Drain me. Giga Drain does enough to where it's just dangerous to have against. So it's just annoying to have. My Aerodactyl goes down and I'm like, wait a second. That's what's supposed to stop the Charizard. What's going to stop the Charizard now? So now Venusaur has to come in clutch and try to like weaken down the Execute for me. And it is just painful to watch because I'm like, what am I doing? Like, how, how did I get into this situation? Why can I not just beat him super easily? And my Venusaur eventually paralyzes it, but it goes down too. So it's just like, ugh, it's tough. Uh, send out my Kabutops. Aerial Ace it. Not enough. Skigger drains me and I'm dead. Three of my Pokemon are dead. Oh my god. Ice Beam finally knocks out the Execute. I'm like, oh my god. Thank you. Thank god. Um, send out my Jotun. Jotun will bite the Alakazam. Psychics me and you know another bite will not kill it, but it'll flinch and I'm like, okay, that's fine Let me bite again and then Alakazam dies and then I'm like, thank you. Thank goodness. And then Gyarados comes out uh, Lives lives my shockwave. I'm like What how did it how did it live the shock? That's imp that's impressive. That's impressive. It lives my shockwave But anyways Charizard comes out and it will actually miss my it will actually miss the fire blast. I knew I could live a fire blast, so I was gonna confuse it and hopefully it hits itself. But it misses the fire blast, so it was over anyway. So I mean, two serves will knock it out, <laughs> and we beat Gary. But I'm like, wow, that took more effort than it should have. But we finally beat Gary, and we are the champion of Kanto. And I mean, that's pretty impressive. We beat the entire game with gift Pokemon's only. I mean, the gift Pokemon's are pretty strong. Look, this team is monstrous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching all the way to the end. My name is Ben Alpha. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, some challenge ideas like this one. And also subscribe if you guys are not already. My name is Alpha. See ya.